northern Norway, well within the Arctic Circle. Herring gather in fjords, attracting one of the ocean's top predators, killer whales. The whales hunt like wolves, working together, pack hunting to corral the fish into a tight ball, making them an easier target. They use powerful blasts of sound and slaps on their tail to shock the fish, making them easier to pick off. It's been observed that killer whales from different regions have varied hunting techniques. The ones here specialize in herring roundup. Fishing is the main industry here, and the fishermen need to know the condition of the seas below. Many important fish species feed and breed on the deep reefs. Pollock, mackerel, and halibut. And cod. They seek cool deep water, going as far down as 600 meters. Harvesting of these species is intense. Thousands of cod are hung out to dry, ready for the local market. Hundreds of thousands are taken every year, and the cod is now officially an endangered species. Are they surviving in the reefs below? Finally, the crew are in place. Over the biggest known cold water reef, the Rost Reef, off the Lofoten Archipelago. Three kilometers across and 40 kilometers long. It's probably the oldest cold water reef of all. It's estimated to be around 8,500 years old. First laid down as the last great ice age drew to a close. Using a campod, a camera with built-in legs to stand on the seabed and baited to attract fish, the scientists intend to count the species. Its destination, 300 meters beneath the mothership. In these overfished waters, it's vital to monitor the health of the reef. A vibrant world is soon revealed. Another walking Gernard hunts prawns. A large red prawn walks dangerously close to a monkfish lurking on the ocean floor. It hopes its camouflaged skin will fool the prawn into coming within striking distance. But the cautious prawn backs off. Smaller prawns groom the monkfish's plant-textured skin, keeping well clear of the head end. Meanwhile, dinners got away.
Looking like space movie monsters, king crabs are truly alien to these reefs. Hailing from the North Pacific, their larvae arrived as illegal stowaways on the undersides of ships, but now they thrive on Rost Reef. One feeds on its dead neighbor. In this tough, deep sea environment, every animal must use any nutrients it can find. A myriad of new species adapted to the deep, behaviors never seen before. A basket star sieves plankton from the currents. Lights reveal octocoral. A cabbage coral, known as dead man's hand. Life here grows slowly, adding less than six millimeters a year. But it's had over 8,000 years to expand, and it's immense, twice the size of Manhattan. The information the scientists are gathering shows a vast amount of marine life is flourishing here in the icy waters. The campods hauled aboard, ready to reveal the results of its dive. The data is collected footage from the dark sea bed. The bait has drawn dozens of meter-long lum fish, or cusk. These are a vital resource to local fishermen. This ancient cold water survivor is full of life but its very success could be its greatest threat. Protecting the reef and the fish from the destructive trawlers will be a difficult balancing act. Rost Reef and others like it run well up inside the Arctic Circle, right to the very edge of winter pack ice. <laughs> 